is crazy. That's no damage. I wouldn't. If someone did that to me, I wouldn't be mad. I would laugh my ass off. I would just be like, "What the fuck?" I know, right? I wouldn't be mad about that. That's gotta get to come back. Oh, my sight went live. You're alive now. Yeah, but the only problem is nobody, nobody here yet because nobody cares. <laughs> Show them a bubble wrap. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if no one comes in, they'll see it later. It's fucking crazy. Yeah, sometimes you just got to do something crazy, I guess. This kid, I, gotta know I feel you. bad for this dummy. <laughs> I feel bad for this dummy. I'm hearing it live, too. I can hear it on your phone. Oh, man. This is epic right here. Yo, what's up, driveway demons? Ha <laughs> ha Wow. Seen a lot of dumb crap in my day, but holy crap, this takes the dumb crap cake. <laughs> when anything happens at Walmart. Did they get to see it? Yeah. I show it to them. Oh yeah, we have oh two in here. One person left, and this one was you. Not no, one is me, but yeah. Ah, oh, it's so cold. My eyes are drying out. This is epic. <laughs> that is so epic. Yeah, <laughs> it's so crazy. All right, well, we'll go in. Um, <laughs> you just want to get out of the cold. I do. You're like, but, the hell with this shit. Ah, oh, it's freezing, man. It's crappy ass weather. <laughs> Tell it me. I'm ready for surf weather again, and. Not like I ever really surf. I just want to watch other people surf. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, God. I just want to get out of this. Oh, man. <laughs> Maybe it's unwrapped oh. as a Christmas gift. It could be. Hey, if someone wrapped my Hellcat, I wouldn't be pissed about that. would be whatever. I'd be all right. You never know, right? I'd be kind of okay with it. Yeah, I'd be yeah. all right. Oh, hey, is that, my eyes are like all dried out. I know, right? Now. right? So cold. <laughs> oh. What? That is definitely a this can't be happening moment. This can't be happening, really. Well, when you're at Walmart, that saying doesn't really work very much because you pretty much expect anything when you're here. Yeah. So anything can really be happening. At Walmart, anything's bound to happen. Yep. So we are here to basically see what deals we can get on absolutely nothing because more than likely they don't give you deals on anything. Everything here is overpriced anyway. Cost them 10 cents to make in China, and then they come here and sell it for triple the price. 12 supplies last, look. Oh, look at that. Look at all these movies. Oh, I wonder if there's a Blu-ray of this. What? Because that is a great movie. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Non hair gel day for me. It's, it's so cold, my hands were like freezing. I couldn't do it. Oh. But uh, we just came here to see if we could, uh, like I said, get some deals and uh, maybe cause some problems, like always. No. Uh, so, so let's see if we can well, have any more of those. This can't be happening moments. I know that I had to go live maybe. when I saw that because you guys deserve to see that. And. Uh, Maybe we'll catch something else that goes on here. We'll, oh, look at this. Well, he found his Christmas present. I didn't have a chance to buy it for oh him. Oh, my God. This is only $30. I have to get this for my son. Wait. Oh, let I me can't do it this way. It up. This thing literally weighs like 20 pounds. Hey, hold on. <laughs> His name is Billy Bear and he's a monkey. <laughs> if you, Give me a hug. <laughs> his, his name is Billy Bear and he's a monkey. I don't know. That was good. All right. That All right. was good. No, this is the bear. I saw the bear and I just. Oh, yeah. I, it is a bear. Uh, I don't know. It looks like a bear to me. It's not very monkey like. It's heavy. You could have called him Billy Monkey or Chunky Monkey. That's a very heavy stuffed animal, I'll tell you what. It weighed like 10 pounds. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, my eyes are still, like, frozen. In case you're wondering, it's, like, 20 degrees outside. That's how cold it is. Yeah, like, legitimately. Uh, my eyes are all red. And it's a non-hair gel day. Let's see if you can find uh, someone else here in flip-flops and shorts. Can you imagine <laughs> that? Let's do it. God all right. Almighty, that, that was, it was insane. It was 28 degrees last time we were here. Yep. 28 degrees colder. When are you going to review Corey's truck and tell us how dumb it is? Oh. Well, basically, I will do that review if it's not as cold outside. I mean, because then I'll be cranky. 
Well, actually, you know what? If, if, I'm, if I'm cold and cranky and I do the review, then maybe you guys will get an honest review from me. I should get As if you're not already. Ah. I should get one of these for Xander. Either one of these or the uh, Raptor up there, because he's already got that. This guy. He's already got He buys his kid a toy every time he comes in here. 24 volt grain ah. digger. Yep. Freaking trip over oh, our oh, fucking box. Honest. Oh, here. This is awesome. Look at this. Wow. You know what the funny thing is? It's funny hearing my voice come from his phone because he's watching me right now. Of course. What's up, Jeremy? I guess. <laughs> so, we're walking through Walmart. Walk through we are Walmart. Going through Walmart. Okay, you know, actually, so. you'll start wishing everybody we see us to Merry Christmas, of regardless course. of belief. We're just going to say Merry Christmas to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the Christmas stuff, though. It's, uh, it's Merry Christmas. Season. Yeah, just see all Merry Christmas to everybody. I think scissors are going to be... Oh, snap. We finally afford an SRT. Yeah, SRT has a very affordable... Or Walmart has a very affordable SRT. SRT say. has a very affordable Walmart. You said it right. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> With the way things are going, as many people that are buying SRTs, they might buy out Walmart one day. You never know. Very possible. Okay, or you could say possible. Possible. Okay. Tout possible. Where would this stuff be? We're heading towards the maxi pad section. Corey's tampons are wearing out. <laughs> the clearance section. There's a clearance section? Duh. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> Look at this. Metal <laughs> license plate. Frame. Like, like this oh, that's metal, the, though. Well, no, that, it's uh, breast cancer. Yeah, but it's not about <laughs> that. I'm saying, oh. look, you don't get it. It says metal license plate frame, and it says frame in big letters. I mean, like, we don't know what's a license plate frame. <laughs> yeah, it does. It's frame in big bold I'm letters. I'm making fun of the lettering. It's like for the dumb people, and it's literally made out of plastic. Okay, look, I'm going to be honest. I don't have anything against these, but who really likes fidget spinners? Like, look at this. This is for someone who has like a boredom disorder of some sort. And they're sitting there like, oh, my boss hates me. Uh, that's that's for all you stress card holders right there. Yeah. I don't know how I feel. I don't know how I feel about them. I just don't. It's the weirdest squirt gun ever. This seen. is a cool fidget spinner. Look, it doesn't stop moving. Well, sort of does, but it's easier. The other one was cool. really heavy, see? I hate it. Uh, ah! Oh, right I hit him nose. the nose of the fidget spinner. Yeah. He said, uh, oh, snap. Okay, I started to read that one. It would be epic if you guys went to the register with a bunch of feminine products. I mean, I would even say I'm going to use it, but... Me, you know, in this society, they would be, like, all offended. Oh, you, you're offending me by saying that. I saw these darts over there, and you and I was thinking they were going to be, they were legit going to be darts, and I could throw them at you. Look, we used to do it at Larry's house. Oh, yeah. Do you remember they used to have the darts and I'd throw them at you and they actually hit you and you'd get mad when we were kids? I used to you throw the darts at my brother. You from this guy. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, these could be from Xander. How much are these? He doesn't like them that much. Yeah. Crap. Oh, crap. All right. Hey, Tip, if your headlight's ever yellow... Oh, every yellow over sun damage. Uh, you can use off bug spray and then clear it with Meguiar's headlight sealer and it will be, oh, it'll stay brand new. I did not know that. I totally did not know that. Let's Random see. fact of the day. Wait, Wait what? since we're already in this aisle, 150 lights for eight bucks. Oh, if that's a net for the uh, bushes. It's a net lights, you put them over your bushes. Yeah, we have to get a lot of extension cords, wouldn't we not? No, it's one. That's one net, 150 lights. So you have to buy, if you have three bushes, you buy three. I think they uh, interact with each other, I think. See, they plug into each other, uh, and then when they plug into each other... They interact with each other. They talk. They, they interact they with each other, they yeah. Chill. I really said that. They interact with each other, they talk, and they chill. Yeah. Oh, you Ready? Hold on. Let me do this. Only, only 
your chest up where you can see the thing. Hi guys. I'm just hanging out with the Christmas decorations. Hey everybody, it's, Cr here. it's Chris Jericho. Hi. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a rave. Listen to the music playing. All right. Seriously, these would be really epic to put up, though. The old school bulbs. I feel like I'm in an episode of Coneheads. All right. So far, I'm wandering around. I'm looking for something to really call out and say stupid. But, I mean, I could basically do a review of Walmart for you guys and everything in this place is utter crap but um if you take a look if you want to know like there, there's a little bit of christmas stuff here in walmart like they have some christmas stuff out okay but christmas is so offensive to so many people in this country that they have to legit make an actual specialized christmas section in a totally opposite building in the back of the store not to offend everybody so they put it basically way back here in an in a gardening center so you can't see all the christmas stuff because they're afraid that you're going to be upset with the fact they're selling christmas stuff like christmas hasn't been celebrated for the last 300 fucking years this has been a country so just just thought I'd throw that out there so apparently christmas is offensive to everybody now and these are some cool trees, though. Pretty badass. Christmas is beautiful. I mean, everybody watching right now, I'm sure you do enjoy Christmas time year. You, you love the word Christmas. When Christmas comes up, you think of trees and fun. Presents, cookies, eggnog, family, presents. I already said that. Gaming with friends. But apparently it's offensive. So in this crap hole section, you see where they tried to make it look like it's own winter wonderland with factory rooftop and fake lights. Apparently, uh, apparently they think this is making you feel festive. What, what dilemma? Oh. Planning on getting arrested again? Hey, if I do, probably. <laughs> uh, dude, it's the land of offended because the land of the free is, it's, yeah. It's no longer land of the free, it's the land of offended. How much you pay for those lights? They're five foot. These are seven dollars for twenty feet. A uh, dollar a foot I paid for. I oh. pay a dollar for the one five footer. This is seven bucks and it's twenty feet. So it's a couple it's like thirty percent more. Twenty feet. I paid five. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, you're right, then you could probably get those and it's Yeah, and they they interact with it. It's not one piece, right? Or know? is it one piece? I don't know, I gotta open it up to find out. Ha ha ha. I don't want to get in trouble with uh, them, but... Somebody's in here. Here's one end. Merry Christmas. Here's one end. Yeah, at this time of night, there's not really many people. Hey, you got the wrong one. This is all different colors. Other end. Oh, yeah, there is Double another end. Ended. There you go. Then you can get them to, uh, to coincide with each other. Do you want to do them or do you want to... I want to do icicle. But I want to do ultra lights. Not these yellow ones. I saw a guy, he had uh, ultra whites where they were like almost blue. Not that blue, but they were like a, I like the a blue white the blue. Both good. They weren't clear, they were like white, bright white. But yeah, either one's fine. Um, the guy with the Hellcat, uh, the guy with the Hellcat red eye on order monster truck, a penny pinching on Christmas lights. <laughs> hey, that's how you save money for cars, guys. Uh... You go, <laughs> all right. Uh, I'm glad they have these. Oh, here they are. LED cool light. There they are. Yeah, they're only, how many how many feet? 12 foot for three. Uh, those are warm. No, that's for those, I think. Does it say? LED no. 50 mini. Yeah, that's them right here. Yeah. 362 for 12 feet. That's not bad. You so need, basically for 24 feet for seven bucks. need five of them. So it costs 20 bucks to do the whole outside. But they're beautiful, though. I saw there's a dude on it's the street that has them. There's a dude on the street that has them. <laughs> but uh see right there string to string connection say that again for all the string people. to string connection you guys want to buy lights make sure you look for that logo on the lights because it basically means that 
you can plug in the lights and on the other end you can connect another set. Why would you want all sets of lights to, to connect to the same side as plugged into the wall? Because then it's not gonna work. You're gonna have extension cords oh, yeah. everywhere. Oh no, we're good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, just me and him. No, no logos or anything like that. Oh, oh yeah, you too. Yeah. I just wasn't sure if you had a I'm problem with us filming or not, but we don't do any logos or anything like that. So. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, of course. <laughs> right, sounds good. Yeah. Yeah, no, the no. manager said we have to keep our clothes on. Well, <laughs> we, we were going to take our clothes off. We can't now. <laughs> All right, uh, so I guess we could got to think about those lights. Oh, yeah, for the sure. Whole, uh, the um, whole uh, roof of the house, or the whole front. So I want to do them. As you can see, it almost happened again. Yeah, that was a one. This can't be happening. The manager says keep your clothes on. I kind of was going to get naked. Oh, hold on. Let's see what I'm wearing underneath this jacket for real. Ready to see? Who, wait, who can guess what I'm wearing underneath this jacket? Now, it's obviously a shirt, but what kind of shirt? Does anybody know? I'm going to show you guys. You hear that? <laughs> it sounded so wrong. Wait, right? listen to that carefully one more time. Okay, here we go. Bah! Oh, yeah. Oh, logo name drop. Got to be yeah. careful of that. Nirvana. Driveway Demon. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> I like that though. Yeah. That that name is actually something you should trademark. Yeah. We need to get uh, we need to get to thinking about these lights that we're gonna do in the. Oh, front. you should have grabbed the uh, those white ones, those cool cool ones, the cool white. What are they called? Oh yeah, yeah the LEDs. Yeah. I really want to get them though, because I really want the. Because I don't like the soft, those soft yellow. They're like a yellow. It's French. Yeah. It's like peace on. That was funny. Yeah, it's French. Demon. I gotta go over here and look for scissors. Driveway demo. So, as we continue on our journey. All right. Probably in the hair section, Corey. I can slap him if you would like me to. I mean, and do it hard. <laughs> Yeah, but then if you do that, then I'm not going to go drive us home. You're definitely not driving the dirty house. It should be up the back wall. Aha. Uh -huh. I wasn't looking over here. I was looking at the knees. Uh, he was also scared it. because it was by this section, uh, too. So okay. he didn't he didn't want to be near it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's see. As you can see, his face is red because he had to pass the feminine products. No, I'm pale. Almost like a ghost. <laughs> Well, what's the point of having a YouTube if you can't embarrass people, right? <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, but these are pretty cool because they got the shears. Con Air makes scissors too, huh? You know what? What I should do right now is take a pair of these scissors and just chop the top of his hair right now in front of everyone. I should just, I should, right now. What? Don't mess my hair up. Are you crazy? I tried. Mm -hmm. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna punch you for sure. Shh. Ah. All right. Let's see what anybody else said anything. Oh, it's French. Said that. Uh, have a great night, guys. Hopefully you. <laughs> no, I said, uh, I'm gonna try, guys, not to go to jail tonight because I would actually like to survive. You know, I don't want to get stabbed in jail for doing something dumb at Walmart. But uh, you guys uh, have a good night. Whoever's you know getting off. Of uh, course. Oh. oh, and uh, let me see. It was Queen City Mopar said he's gonna uh, he's gonna get off. So yeah, you should definitely uh, have more footage of that car that's outside. Oh, for yeah, sure. For sure. I'm going to see if I can do some more footage of that. But uh, I was just hoping to catch something in here that might be something to say. You know, this can't be happening. Unfortunately, not much is happening. There's no one here. No snow here, Jeremy. I'm from North Carolina, but you know, there's no snow here. It's weird. Wow, you guys got snow there? Bet you're all running to Walmart there for your milk sandwiches. Don't forget your bread milk. Milk sandwiches, yes. Milk sandwiches. Hey. I bet you all the milk and bread are sold out, aren't they? Aren't they? Come on, you know you want to say they are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's really what happens, though. It's We're North Carolina boys. We know what it's like. 
As soon as it's one little snowflake falls, everybody runs to Walmart and buys all the milk and bread. I'm dead serious. Like, and, and they have to, they get trucks to just drive right in, and they're bringing milk all day and all night. Milk just yeah. keeps being brought in. Yep. People are going out of their mind. We can't find the milk. Well, you don't need milk. If you're snowed in, you're going to need some water. Trust me. Yeah. And why bread? Bread can go moldy. I mean, probably not in one day, but you're, you should be buying canned goods. Come on, people. Yeah, I know. The whole milk sandwich thing. Ramen, water, and canned goods would probably be the, the three essentials you should be doing if you're snowed in. Yeah. No more because milk it, sandwiches. Because even if you can't boil or heat the water, the water will still soggy the noodles for the ramen. You can have cold soup, which is still nutritious. And you're not stuck eating bread and milk because milk will go bad. And unfortunately, if your power goes out, how are you keeping the milk cold? Are you going to put it out in the snow? Do you really want to go outside in the cold when you're snowed in? You probably wouldn't even be able to get outside if you are snowed in. So come on. Think smart, people. Yeah. You can have milk sandwiches and I'll have my... I don't eat candies, though, either. Hey, if I'm, I'm going to be locked out, it's going to have to be water and uh, bananas, stuff like that. Bananas oh, yeah. last four or five days, some fruit. You should I'm, only buy milk if you have kids. It, shouldn't, it should be powdered milk, So you, and then you buy bottled water so you can make your children their powdered milk, okay? You don't buy real milk. <laughs> <laughs> no. And we're not picking on you because you're from North Carolina. Yeah, that... Is you went on a whole tirade just because someone had snow in North Carolina. <laughs> yeah. Well, the thing is, it's not bad here, by the way. I forgot to bring that up. I think uh, Corey already said. Um, yeah, no, no, nothing here. But, no, it's just I was bringing up the fact that, you know, being from North Carolina, I know people are, like, panickers. So. I don't like wow. The prizes, man, for I movies know. still. Blu-rays have been out for, like, 12 years, and they're still expensive. Look at this. That would be awesome. Look at this, he says. The nun. I mean, I wonder if anybody in here likes Terminator with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Terminator 2 Judgment Day 4K. Terminator. Well, that's actually Scarface. Ow! I just stabbed myself with a package. That... Really did happen. This cannot be happening. Yeah, right? The scissors kind of like stabbed me. This can't be happening. This guy stabs himself. Yep, T2 was the best. And it made me very, sure. very happy to know. Right. How's it going, not man? Not too bad. How about yourself? I'm good, thank you. We're talking about Terminator. We love the movie Terminator, it was the best movie ever. Oh, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> um, well, I agree. Terminator 2 is the greatest, and I'll tell you why it's the greatest. Because it had James Cameron as a director, and James Cameron is probably one of the greatest directors ever. And sorry if I keep moving the, the phone around, but here's the thing. I got so excited. I don't know if anybody else saw the interview with Tim Miller and um, James Cameron. James Cameron is going to be hands-on on the new Terminator film. And quoted, he is sick and tired of the Terminator movies being completely ruined. So he wants to take over. And he said, all the Terminator movies that have come out after Terminator 2 are completely botched and have nothing to do with the series. And it, when the next one that he actually does is going to be right after Terminator 2. And the director is going to be Tim Miller. Tim Miller, if you don't know who he is, he's the one who directed Deadpool. And the reason why he wanted to direct Terminator or the new Terminator coming out is because he has been a long time fan of the franchise since he was a kid, and he's a fan of rated R movies and the Terminator series, like I just said. So he's going to do the movie, and I think he'll do a good job. And he has the endorsement of James Cameron, so it should be good. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> T after T2, they all went downhill. I give. I, I, I don't like any of them very much. I think they all had one special quality in every single one of them. The one with... Christian Bale, Terminator Salvation. I liked the idea of it taking place during the war. I because when they, when they found Reese um, in in Terminator Salvation, I was I was a fanboy at the time. I was like, oh my god, they they brought Reese in, and Reese is a teenager. I was like, Woo! I was fanboying completely. But you know that's what made that movie good to me. And then I liked the idea in Terminator Genesis. They brought Arnold back. They showed the war. They showed how Reese gets sent back. They showed John Connor. You know, they did the whole Sarah thing. And I, I really, really do think that the, um, I can't remember her name. I'm totally having a brain meltdown right now. But the chick who played Sarah Connor, Amelia Clark, she is 
freaking hot, man. So hot. I would love to just be with her. I'm just gonna, that's all I'm gonna say. I don't wanna get dirty in Walmart, but yeah, no, it's, she's hot, so. I guess it made me like that movie. I got our snacks for the night. Just so you guys know, that is probably about 15 pounds of cheese. Ah, uh, more like 20. Here, you hold it. Uh, I don't know if I can, but. I'll I'm video sorry. my brother. Look, this is how much, this is how much cheese I just picked up. Uh, this is probably 30 pounds of cheese. Now, what we're gonna do is, <laughs> Well, we're gonna buy this. I can tell you what we're gonna we're do. Gonna we're gonna go, gonna have to go buy some freaking laxatives. 20, 20 pounds of cheese, two guys, one night for snacks. <laughs> some laxatives, and we're done. <laughs> this is not coming out. I'm telling you, <laughs> that is a lot. Like it's a one way trip. This is a <laughs> this is a, <laughs> all this food is a one way trip. A one way trip. This is 108 slices of cheese. So it's 216 uh, and 240. So that's 416. It's 456. <laughs> 576, 676. Okay, uh, 700 slices of cheese. That means we gotta eat 350 slices each. <laughs> My God, it would take a look, year look if we this did guy. one slice. Look, look, this guy is loaded up, and this is gonna cost him uh, 9, 18, 27, it's 36. Like 40 dollars of cheese. This is 60 bucks worth of cheese. Now that is a night's worth of snacking for you, bro. <laughs> this is, no, this is a night full of colon punishment. <laughs> Colon punishment. Look at this. My arteries are gonna hate me. I am going to go over there, and my snack okay, is there. yogurt. Gonna you can have the cheese and all of the yogurt. I'm gonna buy I just commandeered your phone. You know that, right? You should hijack my driveway demons. That's nice. Okay, hijack. Good evening and welcome to the channel, guys. I am Cody here with this crazy day on this can't be happening. That's really not Cody, we've lied to you the whole time. This is really my channel, not his. I don't know who invited him here, but I finally got my phone back, so I figured I'd invite you guys and then re-invite you. Uh, yeah, we're just seeing what's going on here. This can't be happening, and uh, we got some imposter over here. Like I guess. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm returning property to him. Return my property. I'll be back. All right, let's see what else. <laughs> That's what I should have said. I'll be back. I'll be back. Get to the chopper. All right. So I didn't say that. I, I got to figure out which one should I get. This came comes with a cape. See? Oh. This one comes with thinning shears. Oh. To thin the hair. So I don't know. Oh uh, no, get. we already have one with a cape, don't we? Or no? No, it's an item. Oh yeah, because we always. I usually just use a towel. I have no idea. Yeah. Oh, I we got a question. That uh. Oh yep. I want to make sure they don't got my thingamajigs. Uh, you guys are like before and after uh, your hair job. <laughs> before and after. Ah. <laughs> right? They hey, don't have it. Don't make fun of my hair. Well, another thing is too, my hair is really long on top. I mean, I can style it, but look, it's like really long. So uh, here's a secret if you don't know about Corey from Driveway Demons, likes to actually do hair. He's really good at it. And it yeah. also saves money having a, I wouldn't say he's a hairdresser, he's like a barber, but having a barber for a brother, I don't have to pay for haircuts because I bet you everyone in here really gets fed up with the fact that they have to go to a barber or a hairdresser and pay like 30 fucking dollars just to get them to chop a little on the sides. And after five minutes, the hairdresser's like, that'll be 29.50. And then you're like, ah, uh, yeah, but you, all you did was cut my hair for two minutes. And then you go to a barber and they're like <laughs> on your head for like 15 minutes and got these red blisters all over your head and they're like it'll be two dollars and thirty cents well it's like which one do you go to do you go get the blisters or do you go to a hairdresser and this guy's dropping everything <laughs> oh my god yo 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 but yo. now we're just gonna you know after i'm done it's been a pretty productive night. I just thought of that. You know, we saw the wrapped car, you know, you the can prank still car. see the wrapped car again if we get outside. And, yeah, and w when we get outside, you'll see the wrapped car again. And then, um, let me see. Oh, yeah, when I, I made fun of the, uh, the Christmas section because for some reason there's nothing Christmassy around here, but you have to actually go to a different building to see it. While we go to the clothing section, you try on girl clothes. Who wants to see me try a bra on? Oh, yeah. Um, for real, you should. <laughs> I ain't complaining. Oh. Uh, so that's how he affords all the cars. Yeah, he just cuts <laughs> He cuts hair on the side. That's a lot of hair, man. If you're charging like 20 bucks per hair, 
You'd, you'd need thousands of clients, Hell's man. Hell's that. no. That's a lot of haircut, man. Yeah. Nope. Not doing that. Nothing wrong with it for the people who like it. Yeah, that's totally an epic shot right there. <laughs> You're a director. You're a natural. <laughs> I'm a natural director. Yeah. I got a soft spot for these. We have literally done it all. A circle around the entire store just to come back here to the food section so this guy can pick up his mini pecan pies or pecan pies or whatever you guys want to call them but ooh, hi everybody okay who my likes name is these? Corey, and i like fucking pecan pies. Who, who likes butter tarts or pecan pies i like them better butter tarts though uh for you guys who don't know for you guys who don't know what butter tarts are they're almost identical to what a pecan pie is, except they use raisins. Same sauce, they just use raisins. Add a little, it's a little bit more buttery, but almost the same. Almost. Very similar. But I'll deal with the pecan pies uh, out of desperation. Two pizzas for 10 bucks at Walmart. And we can make them ourselves though. We can, you can take one of the pizza. Oh, you're, you're right. We could just throw one in the oven while we're watching. Dad's not going to eat pizza at 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. Watching the Terminator. Terminator. Maybe maybe. Yeah, we could. Yeah. Get through the job on. Terminator. Um, pecan pie all the way. Oh, for sure. I'm a, oh, you put pecan pie in front of me? <sighs> just watch 50 minute demo of Resident Evil 2, must get. I already came to that conclusion when I saw it at the E3. I don't care what's botched about it, I'm getting it. Because I've been waiting for that since they remastered Resident Evil 1 like four years ago. And they said there was a chance that they were going to do Resident Evil 2. Now, I'll tell you what, if this does good, I can almost bet they will remake Resident Evil 3. Because I think Resident Evil 2 was one of the higher selling ones. But Resident Evil 3 was like right below it. So they might do Resident Evil 3. And in case you guys haven't figured out, me and Corey are also very avid gamers. Been playing oh, games for a very long time. Um, but I loves extra cheese, low sauce. So if there's one in there that has like five cheeses, you'll get him to like the bust five it cheese, out. That's the last one. Uh, we're here picking pizza for our dad. Love you, dad. If you're ever watching this, <laughs> love you. I'm gonna fucking prank you. Yeah, maybe so. Maybe. Hey, I'm trying He's to get, really cranky. I don't know if I could. I'm <laughs> trying to get my mom to ride in the Hellcat, get her to beat me up inside the car and maybe throw up. But she won't ride in the Hellcat, so I tried. I really did. Hey, this is my good angle. What do you guys think? You don't have a good angle. See, I look weird at this angle. You see? You can see my piercings, but I like this one. We won't even start on MK. Uh, yeah. You guys are killing me. It's 1130 at night, and you're making me hungry. Oh. I'll tell you what. Pecan pie. If I didn't have to worry about a gut, I would eat the whole pecan pie. And then, right after that, I would move on to pizza. I would do it backwards, just because I'd be crazy. But look, we really are in the pizza section. Yep, we indeed are. Oh, and if we're making you hungry, how does a nice pepperoni, five cheese, mozzarella sound right now? Uh, one for dad, one for me. I'm gonna get the healthy one for me. We'll try the love. Cool. <laughs> but are you serious, gym rat? Go. Yeah. I am. I'm, I'm a gym rat. But you know, I have to say this. I've been going to the gym for a while, and my gains are good. I'm strong. But I also don't eat clean. Okay. So I go into the gym, and people look at me like. Bro, you're strong and you go to the gym, but why do you still have some meat on you? It's because I don't eat clean, dude. I eat everything, okay? I still, I my body fat is probably, I, I have never checked it. You know, I wear 32, 32 or 33 waist, you know? I wear, I have to wear large t-shirts because my chest is so big, but here's the thing. I, I, I don't, I have, my body fat is not perfect. You know, I'm not walking around completely shredded. I'm like really bulky. As I, I, I feel like if I try to shred, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna lose my gains. I'm not gonna be as strong. So I eat everything in sight just to keep them. So, yeah. But uh, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna get. Uh, what's up, Hellcat Dreaming? Yeah. 
Corey's really going to go for, uh, yeah. <laughs> Corey's going for the healthy pizza and I'm going for the, uh, the fatty pizza okay, because no we'll show them. I got to keep the gut, you know? Okay. All right. Here's, here's, what we're doing. here's Cody's pizza. Okay. It's traditional crust, medium pepperoni and herb spices, garlic, whatever. Okay. Extra pepperoni, extra cheese. Dario. This is my pizza. It's thin crust, fire roasted veggie. Now this is okay. In all honesty, that does sound good too. Yes, the only thing is this got red bell peppers, uh, banana peppers, onions, and of course, Parmesan cheese, but I prefer goat cheese, but this will do for now. now look, I am on camera at Walmart. Oh look. Tony Stark, Iron Man, woo! All right, uh, what do you think? Which one? Oh, we get uh, the cape or we get the shears? Which fit? one would you use more? That's the just cape we're gonna use all the time. I hardly ever use these unless you want your hair thinned a little bit in mine too, I don't know. Nah. Go with the cape, because we don't got it dirty. <laughs> decisions, decisions. Oh, it says check us out on YouTube at Con Air. We're not gonna watch YouTube videos on Con Air. Con Air. Yeah. Con Air. Con Air, bro. All right. Oh, I know. Message, uh, oh, okay. 12, great good, what's I up? <laughs> this guy's I'm double gonna scanning. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, no, I'm gonna say I double scanned it. I scanned it twice and I shouldn't have. Let's see what he says. Okay. Double scanned it, really? This guy, really? I might need some help over here. Are you guys, I are you going to eat all that? I'm gonna throw a party for 50 people. Happy. No, we're legit, gonna yeah. eat all of it. Well, that's all right. Scan it twice. See, all our friends are watching right now, and he did it in front of all of them. Not this guy. This guy's got the magic key, though. Can, when all he my goes grocery shopping, his bills always come up one penny. All my friends are watching. Swipe, you should tell them how stupid he is. Just say this guy is dumb. No, he's not stupid at all. He's See? Dumb. Yes. I'm <laughs> not stupid. Happened and that's why we're here. That's job security. That's good. <laughs> you can film that, too. Oh, there you go. Nice, yeah, See? Nice yeah. try. Nice try. He's trying to say I'm stupid. <laughs> he is dumb. <laughs> That backfired on you. I know. Look at that. I tried to prank him and it didn't work. Look at that. Did you get it all? Yeah. All right. Now I'll start begging. Making sure I got the right stuff. This guy literally checks his bill like 23 times. <laughs> what's All right. Oh, Hellcat, Hellcat Dream and Josh said, uh, what's up, Corey? What's up? What's going on? Um, here, let me do this. I have to put all this crap into a crappy Walmart bag. It'll probably rip. Do you want to film me putting it all in? Oh, yeah, I can film you putting it in. <laughs> That's what she said. He's, gonna put it, he's putting it in. He's filming me putting it in. Hey, I like your screen. How it's like all clear and looks new because mine's smashed up from the kids. Sucks. I'm putting it in too. Woo! This guy. It was, it was being set up. <laughs> hey, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. My total is like $43. I can't get it in. <laughs> right. How is it that we live in a society where some scissors and some pop tarts and some granola bars and some pizza run you forty dollars? It says take receipt. There. Woo! There we go. Drop it in there. Drop it in. Let's see if Drop I can it get like it. It's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Okay, outside I'm sure is the same car. It's probably still out there, all wrapped in bubble wrap. And uh, I'm gonna help my brother carry his bag so that he can present to you that this can't be happening, part two. Instead of having him carry all the bags. Because this really? isn't my channel. I think we did. Unless you're leaving stuff behind, like you always do. You know what's funny is someone made fun of my hair on my channel and they said nice mohawk or something like that. And I'm like, this isn't a fucking mohawk. This is a pompadour modified thing. Guys, it's not even the same. If you don't know, 
right? Yeah, Google. Google. You said Google. Unwrapped it and drove it. Somebody found it, like my brother said, and unwrapped it and drove away in the 15, well, it's more like half right. hour we were inside. Why? Well, you guys got to rewind the video and watch it from the beginning because yeah. whoever's car that was, it was hilarious. They could have at least left the mess. I the know. There's the Duramax. You guys get to hear a cold start on my brother's live vlog. We, oh, yeah, like John said. I like, I like how I got driveway demons filming on my fucking channel. That's awesome. All right. Oh, yeah, you know what I just realized? That John said we forgot the 20 pounds of cheese. Or how many pounds did he say it was? Yeah, 20 pounds of cheese. <laughs> we, 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 we didn't get it. <laughs> I realized I'd rather blow my colon out with pizza instead. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> hey, maybe you guys will be lucky. We'll put all this stuff in the Duramax and my brother will video while I open the windows and we'll hit it. You get to hear a little bit of exhaust content in the Dirty Max. Oh, hold on. We'll hit it deep. There we go. This guy opened the door for me. He's a sweetheart. Yeah, I know, right? And there's a new GMC over there, but it's a 1500. You guys can see it over there. I'm, I'm doing vlo I'm vlogging about cars on your channel. <laughs> Take the phone back before I get crazy okay. carried away. Ah, Look at this. Ah, time to get the door back. It is. Dirty Max. It is freezing out here, guys. Like, unfucking believably freezing. Make sure to put your seat heater on. It's off. Ugh. My heat seater. <laughs> oh, we can show them the light bar too. How bright the light bar is, even though we oh, yeah. did a video like here. That, it right? is in Walmart. <laughs> Turn the light bar on in the parking lot. That's funny. Watch. Oh, you will. Yeah, yeah. We'll okay, so there. show them. This is regular. We should do it over there. Yeah, we'll do Watch. it where it's dark. Yeah, yeah. The light bar. The light bar. Light bar. Like Canadians, they say light bar. And the Canadians get in their car and then in their cars and they're like light bar. Put your light bar on. Okay, so right. here is. The low beams with the fog lights. All right. Okay, you see over there? Low beams, high beams. Low beams, high beams, okay? High beams, low beams. We got it, right? Here is the light bar. <laughs> that is so epic right Yeah, there. the light bar is insane. Like You could turn just, off every light and, tur and drive with just the light bar. Yeah, like watch, we'll do it one more time. Okay, look how dark it is driving. Light bar. Wow. Yeah, that light bar is It's like nuts. a spotlight. Yeah, you can see the trees. Like, look at the difference with no light bar and light bar. That it's is. crazy. Okay, you're going to be able to hear some exhaust notes here. You go to look up Arnold prank phone calls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I do like the Arnold prank phone calls. I like that. Look up Arnold's pizza shop. You gotta watch it with the animations, it's hilarious. Welcome to Arnold's Pizza Shop. <laughs> that was really pepperoni. funny. Pepperoni. Oh yeah, pepperoni. Green peppers. You can get some exhaust, we're gonna, we're gonna definitely right. hit it. Oh, there goes the new 1500 Silverado coming up beside us. Or is he no, he's coming behind us. Oh, uh, we no, it's not a Dura, it's not a Silverado, that's a fun, uh, Oh yeah, uh, Sierra. Yeah. yeah. I say if it's a Dirty Max. Oh, here goes a Mopar. Show them this classic Mopar getting ready to pass us by. There's the old Durango. Yup, Mopar, no in, car. In mint condition, all rusted out. Right. <laughs> <laughs> in he didn't say mint condition, he said mink condition. <laughs> in, in, in its natural habitat. In its natural habitat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, go commandeer it, we'll fix it up. Yeah. I would love, I would actually like to have one. I like those Durangos actually. Yeah, that I was, love the Durango. Besides the new one, that was my favorite body style. The, the 04 oh, body eight. style. Was yeah, the yeah. big oh. boxy one, yeah. With the bubble lights. <laughs> the bubble lights. They're literally like bulging out like it's got a pimple of her tail light, like, just like popping out. Do it. Hey, if you guys want to catch me on Twitch, look me up, Driveway Demons on Twitch. We're going to be playing some games later tonight in about two hours. Going to start streaming on the yep. Twitch. On the Twitch. Do it! Do it, man, do it! What are they doing inside that car? Guy's got his light on in the car, like a spot. Turn out your light, idiot. <laughs> Here we go, you're gonna be able to hear All some right. exhaust from the Duramax. Don't stick the phone outside the car. Though, the truck. Yeah, I don't want to freaking lose my phone. All right.
cold shower for the neighbors. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, ask them if they like the sound of the dirt. Add, the, add that sound. I'll leave the back window only. Oh, it's cold. Sorry, not cold, yeah. The brand is growing. <laughs> Can you guys hear that exhaust? That was awesome. Yeah. Hell yeah. That was totally awesome. Well, uh, I plan on doing a Y bridge, an upgraded turbo, and bumping up from a four inch exhaust to a five inch, and then, you know, getting a bigger downpipe. So overall, much more flow for the Duramax, and we'll, that'll be later on down the road. But for show. Yeah, you get to hear it one more time, because I'll rip it here for a little bit. He's gonna rip it, guys, so plug your nose and watch carefully. Yeah, a cold shower for all the neighbors. Propane injection. Watch the light bar. That's with the light bar on. That's crazy. There you go, guys. Oh shit, it's really bumpy over here. Yeah, it it's is. like, sorry guys, is it too bumpy for you in my video? Yeah. Right. Then this light bar was probably the best mod I've done to the Duramax yet. Ugly Ford Explorer. Just kidding. <laughs> Ford, found on road dead. No, I like all cars, but I just had to put that in there. First on wrecking day. Sweet. 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 Oh, I forgot you. Yes, yes, you did. Yes, I did. Looks like we're going back tomorrow. Yep, we'll have to anyway. Because you said you're buying all those lights. All right, huh? Yep. Just going I, I gotta go back for all that cheese. Yeah, 20 pounds of cheese. That'd be hilarious though if you like legit ate the cheese or at least tried to and you're throwing up like oh. five, halfway through one. What's going on over here, guys? Looks like we found ourselves the crown jewel of the night. What is this? Some guy doing drugs inside of his electronic electrical vehicle. Oh, you bad boy. We didn't really drive to see what was going on, but we assumed he was doing drugs, guys. Uh, it's really dark. You can't see me. There's a shadow over where my mouth is. I'm Batman. And I just, maybe I am. I could be Batman. I could be your dad. filming my face but you can't see it it's like really dark everybody when they get to this part of the video is gonna be like this guy doesn't know how to film well there's a light in here oh my god I didn't know that <laughs> I'm trying to avoid the light because I'm blinded by the light take this off all right so you guys had a fun night with us because we're almost home yeah, tell me you got a couple of videos coming out this week. You're I'm gonna try to come attacking everybody's cars. I'm gonna try attacking as many cars as I can get a hold of. Not You're really, gonna be molesting cars. I'm gonna be humping a lot of cars apparently. Maybe called the car molester. Car molestation. I should totally make that. This car's a piece of crap. <laughs> Just start thrusting. I want a review and do a useless review on a McLaren. That'll be hilarious. Oh yeah. I already know what I'd say about the McLaren. Call it the big chicken. Do it on the McRib. Call it the McRib. <laughs> uh, the McRib versus the McChicken. We legit almost ran a curb right now. Corey's so high, and I don't mean drug high, I meant it's so high in the truck. No, not high in the truck, we're up high, that he almost ran over uh, a curb. Wouldn't do anything anyway. Fuck. Maybe. My brother likes to, uh... I, yeah. We try oh, to make yeah. out every now and then, but, you know, people get it. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. Uh, you want to get out? Uh... You know, I've gotten some serious hate. Uh, not a, like, not a ton, but there, there's some hate comments on my two newest videos. People say that my hair is gay, and I'm like, what does my hair have anything to do with the video at all? Like, <laughs> hair makes everything, apparently. Yeah. And a guy said I had a mohawk. He said my mohawk was gay. Number one, it's not a mohawk. And number two, the word gay means to be happy. 
So that doesn't make any sense because hair doesn't have a natural feeling of life. If you can't tell the difference between a, a, a modernized pompadour and a mohawk, then you should be turning that comment on yourself because you're the one that's retarded. So there's a huge difference. A mohawk, let me tell you what a mohawk, the Chuck Liddell is even a variation of a mohawk. That's not even a mohawk. Now, if you want a real mohawk, look at the old pictures of the old mohawk tribe. The reason why it's called a mohawk is they're the first people to wear their hair that way. And they didn't use wax, they used legit um, it was honey, I think, and they rubbed it in their hair because it would harden. Hog, Cody knows some shit. Uh, yeah. Hey, Corey, what's the offset on your uh, wheels? Oh, negative 49. <laughs> no, <laughs> negative 44. <laughs> Or is negative 44? I think it's negative 44, yeah, yeah. I just made up. I want negative 72s. I want to go with the uh, 20 by 14, 15, 5 wide, negative 72s. It'll be even better, but. Yeah, exactly. I agree. They're always going to be haters no matter what. Yep. Screw them. Pretty much going to do it for our night, guys. Um, Thanks for joining in and, Wait, you know, and uh, getting crazy. And uh, this guy's going to sign out with his signature sign off. With his... Well, that's going to do it, guys, for this video. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. Be sure to check out the store, thiscan'tbehappening.com. But until the next video, have a great night. Thanks, Jack. <laughs> Thanks, Jack Nicholson. Yeah, I um, know, right? <laughs> All right. All right. Well, hope you guys had a good night and, and uh, loved watching us. And uh, see you in the next video, all right? And uh, this can't be happening. You it, know? Can't, it could be happening. It really could. It could be happening in your room. It could be happening. Could be. All right. I heard things. I heard things. All right. <laughs> all right. You guys have a great night. And uh, yeah, you have a great night too later. Uh, appreciate you. Oh, thanks a lot for us. Peace out, guys. All right. Peace out, guys. Have a great night. Or don't. Whatever you guys decide. But, all right. <laughs> See you later. Hey.